Hello everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Dropbox on your iPhone. Dropbox is a fantastic cloud service that I personally use a lot, and there are a few ways to set it up and some important things to know about the process. Let's dive in and get started. First, the most basic way to use Dropbox is by getting the app from the App Store. This is the simplest method, but it's not the only option. You can also integrate Dropbox within the Files app, which I'll show you later on in the video. To start, open the App Store on your iPhone. Search for Dropbox, then download and install the Dropbox app. Once the app is installed, open it. If you already have a Dropbox account, go ahead and log in. If you're new to Dropbox, you'll need to create an account. Once you're logged in, you'll see a plus button in the app. Tap this button to add files. You can choose the source of your files, such as photos or files. Select the files you want to upload, then tap Upload. You can browse your files in the Files tab within the app. Dropbox offers plenty of other features within the app, but I want to show you a more integrated approach next. For a more seamless experience, you can use Dropbox within the Files app on your iPhone. Make sure you have the Dropbox app installed first. Open the Files app and in the Location section on the left panel, you should see Dropbox listed. It will show up there automatically once you have the Dropbox app installed. Tap on Dropbox in the Location section and you might be asked to authenticate or sign in. This allows you to access your Dropbox account directly within the Files app. This integration makes it easy to manage your files without switching between apps. However, it's important to keep in mind a few things about Dropbox, especially regarding your subscription model. If you're using the free version of Dropbox, you'll be limited by the amount of storage you have and by how many devices can be logged in at the same time. The Files app is considered a separate location from the Dropbox app, even though they're on the same device. This means if you're on the free plan, logging into Dropbox in the Files app, and the Dropbox app might count as two different devices. Within the Files app, you can work with your Dropbox files just as you would with any other files. Tap a file to open and view it. To share a file, tap the three dots next to it, select Share, and choose your preferred sharing method. Creating folders in Dropbox is simple too. Tap the plus button and select create folder. To move files, hold down on a file and select move. To delete files, tap the three dots next to a file and select delete. And that's how you use Dropbox on your iPhone. Whether you prefer using the standalone app or integrating it with the files app, Dropbox provides a flexible and powerful way to manage your files. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tutorials and tips. Thank you for watching. Peace.